you'll need is your thing of yarn. I'm using the Red Heart with Love Metallic. It's got little gold specks in it. Get a pair of scissors, and your little uh, crocheting needle at the end so you can hide all your leftover strands. Today I'm gonna be using the letter K crochet hook and this is a 6.5 millimeter. So that's all you'll need to do this project. Okay, so we're gonna start by making our chain. We're gonna take our, I already have a separate roll unraveled a little bit. Unfortunately, when you get yarn, a lot of times you'll be able to start your strand from the inner workings here. This one doesn't have it, which is a pain in the butt. So you have to pretty much just unravel it as you go. So we're gonna make our loop. It's very easy, don't get overwhelmed. You're gonna take your hook and you're gonna fold that over and then you're gonna pull the smaller one up and then go underneath and grab the one below and then just pull that one through the loop and then pull it and there's the start of your chain. You don't wanna pull it too tight because you wanna be able to get in there when you start your chain. So in order to do a chain, you can do as many links as you want. I'll probably do about, I'd say 25 to 30 for this. So to start your chain, all you have to do is wrap your yarn around and then pull it through that hole. Simple enough, right? Wrap around, pull it through. A lot of you have probably done at least a chain before, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so you're just gonna keep doing that until your chain is as long as you want it to be. Your turtleneck could be a little more fluffy, more of a cowl neck. So if you want it to be a little more full like that, you can go a little longer than I'm gonna be doing here. So very slowly, wrap it around and through. Around and through. So let me get this done here, and then I'll start the next step for you guys. It could be a little longer, a little shorter, depends on what you want to fit under your coat. And remember, the neck part is gonna keep you warm as well, so. You wanna make sure it's long enough to go down into the coat a little. And then, pull, yeah, that's plenty for me. I did about, I would say 40. Okay, so now, to start, what you're gonna do, you see the little Vs here? All your chains look like little V's, little V's. So we're gonna skip the first. You're not gonna start, this one is not considered a link. And then you're gonna go one, skip the first two links and go into the third one. Pull our yarn through, wrap around and pull through two. And we're gonna do that all the way across. So you're gonna put it in, pull it through, wrap around, pull through two. Are you with me? Here we go. Put it in, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. You always wanna hold on here. It gives you more of a stable feeling as you're doing it. Pull it through, wrap around, pull through two. I'm gonna finish this line up. If you need to, pause the video until you can understand what you're doing here on your first link. And usually this, First chain is the most difficult because there's no stability to it. It's just a floppy little chain. So I'm gonna finish this row and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're coming to the end of our chain. A couple more single crochets. Put it in, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. And here we are on the last one. Put it in, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. So there we are at the end of our first row. And you'll have something that looks like this. So now at the end of this row, we're gonna chain up two. So we're gonna go through one, wrap around, go through two. And then we're gonna flip our work around to the other side. As you'll see on the top, you could see all the links here on the top. They look like little Vs. We're not gonna, normally we would go in through these holes on the side. As you can see, the little holes there. We're gonna go in through the top, but we're gonna go in through the back link. Back one, back one, back one of the two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a single crochet. So at the end you had your 
chain two. You're gonna lay that chain two down, one, two, and then you're gonna go into this first one right here. So you're gonna go in, same as you did before with the single crochet, pull it through, wrap around, pull through two. Going through your next back. This is called a slip stitch. And go through two. So you're gonna put it through the back, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. So we're gonna do that all the way to the end. You do yours and I'll meet you back here. If you have to, just stop the video and rewind it and check that step out again. Okay, so we're coming up on our the end of our second row. We're just gonna finish up these last few stitches in the back. Pull through, wrap around, pull through. There, and then you get one more left on the end here. Okay, so when you get to the end, like you're gonna do on every end, you're gonna add a chain two. So you're gonna wrap around, pull through one. Wrap around, pull through two, and that's your chain two. And then you're gonna flip your work and turn it around. Now this time we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna lay our chain two down. So count one, two, and then we're gonna go into our first stitch here. This is our first stitch right here. So you got your chain one, two, and this is our first stitch. So go in here and do the same pattern, all in the back stitch. And by going in this back stitch, this is what's gonna create our lines. Let me show you this scarf here, or the turtleneck. So this is gonna create these ridges by going into the back, back stitch. I, you'll notice in the video that I use this turtleneck as an example, but I realized I did a different stitch on this, so don't get confused. You're still okay with this stitch. It's just going to be a tighter knit. You'll have more boning in it, as you see here, where this one has more spaces in it. So this one is the back stitch that I'm teaching you here. This is all back stitches, so you're getting more ribs. This is a back stitch, then a single crochet, a back stitch, then a single crochet. So if you want it to be like this, I'll show you here what a single crochet is. So you do your chain two at the end. Here we go. Chain two, one, two, turn your work. So a single crochet is when you go in through these holes on the sides. So you would skip your chain two, one, two, and then you would go in your first hole on the side here. Same thing, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. Next one's right there. See the holes at the top? That's a single crochet. And you put it through, pull through, pull through, wrap around, pull through. So you're gonna do one row of a single crochet like that, and then the following row after you do your chain two and turn your work, you'll do the back stitch, and that's how you'll get this wider boning compared to this one, which is a little tighter. Back stitch, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. And just keep on repeating that. Make yourself a cup of tea, put on some quiet music, and just relax. Before you know it, you'll have yourself a little turtleneck. I'm gonna finish up this row and then I'll be right back and I'll meet you on the other end. Okay, here we are at the end of our third row. We're just gonna finish this up together just to get you comfortable with what you're doing. Here we go, pull through two. We're gonna do our chain two, wrap around one, wrap around two, and then again, flip our work Lay down your chain two, and then you're gonna start in this first one right here. So you got one, two, your two little chains. This is gonna be your first stitch here, right after the two. So lay your two down, go into there, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. You should be getting the hang of it by now, so I'm gonna finish up this row, and then you should be able to see that the bars are starting to form. Usually by the fourth row, you'll start to see the pattern. 
see if I could show you there. See, you're starting to see the ridges up here. Okay, so I did 18 bars on this one. Now I'm going to show you guys how we put this together. So I'm at the end here, right? This was my last row I just finished. We didn't double stitch because we're done. So we're going to fold the two halves together. Make sure they're perfectly lined up. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to take your hook match it up nice there and you're going to go right into the top here pull your yarn around and then tighten that flip it around and then you're going to do that all the way across just make sure you hold the two pieces nice and tight together here we go so you're going to put it in here just stick it anywhere get it through the other side make sure you're holding both sides together Pull your yarn through, here we go, and then pull it through both and tighten that up. And then you're just going to keep going all the way down, keep it as close as possible, the top there and tighten that. Go in there, make sure you're in the next one, and tighten that. And then you're just going to go all the way across like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just keep it up towards the top. Make sure you're getting both sides together. Okay, now that we're at the end, we're going to just throw in one more stitch there. Wrap it around, pull through, tighten that guy up. Then you're just going to release that a little. Grab your scissors. You're going to cut this little tail off. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little hole here and you're gonna stick this little tail through it and pull tight. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our tube. Actually, we're gonna take our needle first. This is a real cheapie. All these items were found at Walmart. You can get your needles. They sell these by the set. They come in many sizes. And this needle came with the whole pack of stuff. I'm gonna take your yarn and you're gonna stick it in there like that. This one's a pain in the butt, but usually I can get it with a couple tries. There we go. To take it and you're gonna come any in any area here and you're just gonna stick it through one of your little rows here and then just hold the end and pull that through and that'll hide that end string there you can just cut that off right there pull it and then you're done so then you're just going to turn your turtleneck inside out. This is with the slip stitch all the way across. And this one is the slip stitch, skip a row, and then do a single crochet. So you'll have the wider bands. There you go. Hope you guys try it out. Have fun. Have fun.